Now the other thing we're going to do is we're going to come on over here and I'm going to show you this. I have zone one turned off because I want to show you what we what else we can do here. And we're going to use this tool over here, which is the design zone tool. And what we can achieve with this design zone tool is, is this. We can determine what it is. Number one, we can go ahead and change this. Let me let me pull over to the OIP here. And within this, uh, let's Let's go ahead. I, I got to select this here. Um, we're going to deselect the coverage. We can just create a zone map and we can go ahead and we can color this if we want. Let's go ahead. Let's leave that one white or, or we could change it to a red if we want. Um, it's really nice to see the zones. We can put the zone number in. We can put a zone ID and we can show the total point of connection max flow. So we can kind of see where we're at and that matches where we're at here. So away we go. Now, from here, we can also show this, the coverage analysis. What that's going to do is that's a simple click. It shows us what we have covered, how many we have. This comes into play, pull over the navigation, in this coverage analysis. And that was in that setup that we had done early on. And each of these have some specifics. And in this case, red, we're going to do it solid. And uh, that's with zero coverage. So we can see we can go one through four. And as we step up, we start to stack colors and see where we're at. So we can see where we might have excessive water in this design versus mi minimum water. And we can go from there. So let's change that out and I'll kind of show you how we can set up a simple zone. So let's go ahead and let's just select that and we're going to draw this in nice and simple. Let's go ahead and let's just kind of create our zone border here. And there is another zone and we can go ahead and do anything that we want to within this. Um, we are on irrigation zone two, which is irrigation zone two is where we're putting that. Uh, if we wanted to show coverage analysis, we can. So we can see how we have some pretty good coverage analysis. One of the things is sometimes you'll get this little bit of a glitch down in here. Um, one of the little tricks on that is to actually come in here and just move that just barely outside of that zone. And that'll correct that. So we've got very, very good coverage here. We're very wet in that zone. Then we can move on to zone three. Let's go ahead and turn zone two off. Let's turn zone one off. Let's move on to zone three. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing up here. And just draw our general box around where our zone is. And away we go. And there we have it. And all we have to do is simply show zone ID Show total, you might want to change that size a little bit more, something a little more appreciable for that. And there we go. We've labeled our zones and we can start to have some zone mapping really clear. For instance, we can go ahead and we can turn that off and let's go ahead and show our zone in that one also. And we can see that now we start to get these zone maps very easily. We can go ahead and change some colors here if you want to do it in color. We get a fantastic representation of some zone blocking, listing the number of zone and what we're doing per zone.